We're going to have a look at how bubble sort works. We're going to put these numbers into order, starting with the smallest. Bubble sort works by starting by comparing the first two. We're going to compare two with three. If they're in the right order, don't do anything. If they're wrong, swap them over. Two is smaller than three, so the decision is we do nothing. Now compare the next two. That's three compared with six. They're in the right order, so do nothing. Now compare six with one. They're in the wrong order, so we're going to swap them round. Now move on to six and seven. They're in the right order. Seven's bigger, so leave them. Now seven compared with four. Seven's bigger than four. They're in the wrong order. Swap them round. Now compare seven with five. Seven's bigger than five. Swap them round. Now this is the result at the end of the first pass. We now know for definite that 7 is the biggest number in the list. So we don't need to look at it anymore, Seven's in the right place. Let's look at all the other numbers. Go back through it again, compare 2 with 3, they're in the right order, leave them as they are. Compare 3 with 1, 3 is bigger than 1, so swap them round. Now compare 3 with 6, the right order, leave it as it is. 6 with 4, 6 is bigger than 4, swap them round. Now compare 6 with 5, 6 is bigger than 5, swap them round. We don't need to involve 7, we already know it's in the right place. That's the end of the second pass. 6 is now definitely in the right place. Now let's go through the list again. Compare 2 with 1, they're in the wrong order. Swap them round. 2 with 3 is right, 3 with 4 is right, 4 with 5 is right. We now know 5 is in the right place. At each point we don't look at this intelligently. You can't sort of look at that and say, ah yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, they're definitely in the right order now. Although we know nothing's going to happen on this next pass they are in the right order. Let's just confirm. Compare 1 with 2, they're in the right order, leave them as they are. Compare 2 with 3, they're in the right order, leave them as they are. Compare 3 with 4, they're in the right order, leave them as they are. If we can go through the whole list with the whole list being in the right order, i.e. nothing gets swapped round, then we must have finished. And so that's the end result of, of bubble sort.